Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new baseball video. Today, as y'all can see, we're going to be doing what is inside my baseball bag. So, just a little backstory if y'all are new. If you can want to consider subscribing, please subscribe. I try to make baseball content on this video, fishing content, hide and go seek, stuff like that, just to playing around. But I'm going to do a little baseball stuff. So we got, first we're going to start off on my bag. It's an Easton. I don't know what model it is, but it's a bag like this. Got the bats right here. Home that glove compartment. So first we're gonna start with our uh, of course our gloves. So I got my gloves just sitting right here right now. First, look, infield pitching glove. Not really pitching, but infield outfield glove. We got some Rawlings right here. Pro grade leather inside. Supposedly it's the Heart of the Hide series. So yeah, it's my glove. A little H Web TV right there. A little slow mo shot. So that's my glove. I always check my gloves good. That's why I have them outside of my bag right now. And this is my catcher's mitt. I got this rope around it, so. Uh, it keeps it good to sturdy, keeps it form in here. I'll actually show you how I got it. I got two baseballs inside of it. Let me unravel it. Right. I got two baseballs right there. This is a glove, it's more of a stiffer version right here. I like to keep all my gloves stiff. So yeah, you can barely close it right there. Have to have something in there. Got a deep pocket in there. Of course, this is a Rollins catcher mitt. It's another one of the hardest, heart of the hide series. There's a bunch of specs and stuff like that. Some pro specs and like that. If y'all want this glove, y'all can cop cop it. Especially with that glove, it'll be in the description down below. And I'm gonna show y'all how I do my little. Ball set up with this rope. It just helps keep the pocket in there. All right, so we're gonna make sure we got a rope just like that with a little like cowboy like loop. So we're just gonna grab two balls like that, throw it in there, just like that, and put this one down. Well, we're gonna put try to keep it right into that pocket. This one down, close it, slip your hand out. Put this one down, there's a little gap right there. I'll keep the pocket in and put it more towards right here. And now we're going to suck it up tight. Ravel it around. And I got me a little knot at the end right here. And you're just gonna tuck that away in the part right there. So, that. Is going to be the catcher mitts. So obviously, I'm a catcher. By the way, I do play travel ball select. So now let's see. now let's move on to the bats. I keep on um, obviously tail. Right the back. It's my old wood bat. I don't really know what's what's going on in my bag. So Rollins. I think my dad gave it to me or something for Christmas. It's like a 20, yeah, it's 28. Real good bat, I really like to use it for a Little League a lot. Yeah, you can tell it's how it's real beat up. The paint chipped real easily. So put that aside. I got me a new wood bat right here. Shout out to the bamboo bats, I'm really liking them. Yeah, you can read the specs and stuff on there. It's a youth model. By the way, now I do swing a 29 inch. I'm about to move up to a 30. Put that back to the side. Now we're gonna get in some more gamer bats, stuff like that. This is my little league bat right here. There's a rolling 550, I think it is. Alloy. Of course, with the new in America, you have to have the USA for it. Little end cap right there. Yeah, that's the bat right here. And now this is going to be our select bat. It is a Marucci 
Cat 8, 2019 model. So my paint started to chip right there. So drop 10, two and three quarters. 1.15 BPF. And basically the same grip as my wood bat. So stripes. So yeah, those are, those are all my bats. I just keep them out of bags, keep them handy. And my bats, usually in this little compartment, some people say you're supposed to put your helmet, so I put my gloves in there. Just some little Franklin batting gloves. Kind of ripped a little bit, gotta get me some new ones. But yeah, that's it. Franklin's got my initials on it. Well, a while back. Yeah, that's it. That's from my batting gloves. I'll put that to the side. Now we're gonna move on to catching gear. In the big part, put that side over. First, we got our helmet. Let's go to Rawlings. Let's keep everything rolling. Just standard helmet, ain't got no face card though. Yeah, it's blue, it kind of matches my lily bit. Now I'm going to catching gear. Of course, protecting cup. Got that center in the bag. Yeah, we got baseballs. I like to keep a lot of baseballs in my bag. Okay, here's a real beat up baseball. Plus, I got two of my gloves I say. Oh, look at that. A random rope. It's probably the rope that I sometimes use for my other glove. So, yeah, it's a rope. Move on to our catching helmet. It's at Easton. I got all Easton gear. The standard Easton helmet. I had it for a while. As you can tell, yeah, it's the Easton. Put that right there. Got Easton leg guards right here. Pretty, pretty nice and snug. And now we got our chest plate. It's more of all older version. Put the hard thing right here. But, yeah, it's youth preferred for age 9 to 12 size, I guess. Yeah, but that's it for what's inside of my bag, guys. Wait, I'm going to show you my cleats real quick. I'll be back. I right, guess sorry about that, but we got our cleats nice and clean today. Clean up for the video. The Vapor Pro cleats. If y'all guys are wondering what size I am, these should be on my sauce. These are size 8.5, I think. 8 and actually, hold on. Yeah, this has like eight and a half. But saying, I need some new ones. Is Nike run a little bit small on me? So, yeah, really like them. Of course, they're all plastic spikes. I don't have no metal ones yet. But guys, that'll be it for my bag review. I hope y'all enjoyed it, guys. If y'all enjoyed it, smash the like button for more baseball content. Here's a. Here's it kind of all laid out right there. Alright guys, so that'll be it. Bye.